have you heard of Gooder sunglasses? In this video, I'll be unboxing and reviewing a pair so you know if they're worth buying. Hey, if you're new here, my name is Kevin and I'm a certified personal trainer. And in this video, I'm going to be reviewing Gooder's running sunglasses. These are sunglasses that were made with runners in mind. Gooder's popular running sunglasses are advertised as being no slip, no bounce, all polarized, and all fun. This is good news for runners because it can be really annoying when your glasses bounce up and down or fall off your face during a run. And also, the lenses are polarized, which means that they block bright reflected light, so your eyes are more comfortable and you can see more clearly, especially during a bright day. What really stuck out to me about Gooder's sunglasses were the design and the price. They looked a lot like the classic Ray-Ban Wayfarers, and it was at an unbelievably low cost of $25. Other brands like Oakley and Adidas have running sunglasses that cost over $100, so the Gooders had a really good price. However, since the sunglasses were really low priced, I was concerned about the quality. But after reading and watching several reviews, I decided to order a pair on Amazon. Although there were a wide variety of colors available on Gooders website, Amazon at the time only had Ron's Smoke and Mirrors, which was a black pair of sunglasses, available. But that was fine for me, so I ordered those. Also, it's important to note that Gooder actually has a huge lineup of sunglasses beyond just those that are popular for running. So while the ones I'm reviewing are commonly used by runners, there are different styles designed for different activities that may or may not have polarized lenses and cost more than $25. Anyways, let's get to the unboxing. Unboxing. All right, so here are the Gooder sunglasses that I ordered. This is the box that it came in. It's a nice light rectangular box. On the top, it says Gooder. And on the side, it has the style that I got, which was Ron Smoke and Mirrors. And on the other side, it's just a barcode. On the bottom, it says, no slip, no bounce, all polarized, all fun. And there's a little flamingo on it. And you open it just by lifting this tab. And Gooder has a message. We give you permission to be unabashedly yourself, unless you're a, and that's blurred out. And then there's an asterisk over here. We didn't print blank on all our boxes because we're not blank. So the company definitely has a sense of humor. I'm not sure if it's just this specific style that comes with flamingos and this teal color, but I'm noticing that's pretty prevalent in this design. So let's go ahead and take this out. So here are the sunglasses in a nice little case. And here's a little card from Gooder. So here it says, the Gooder guide to proper eyewear care and maintenance, AKA how to have and keep nice things. Just because our sunglasses are affordable, it doesn't mean you should treat them like Ramsey Bolton treated Theon. Spoiler alert. So that's a Game of Thrones reference. That's really fun. By following the instructions below, you can help to ensure that your sunglasses will outlive you and your children. So on the back of this card, it's instructions on how to keep your glasses clean, how to store it, and how to use it. So some good details here. And in case you wanted to pause and read through, here you go. That's all that's in the packaging. So here are the sunglasses. So here's this nice little pouch for you to carry it in. And you just open this. And here are the sunglasses. So it's got plastic you gotta remove. So you'll see on the side, it says Gooder. So the style that I got was Ron Smoke and Mirrors and it's a black color. And on the other side, it says Ron's Smoke and Mirrors so you know the name. And you can see that the front lenses are polarized and they're very reflective. But yeah, pretty simplistic, lightweight, but let's see what happens when we put them on. Test run. All right, so I'm outside. I'm gonna go test out these Gooder sunglasses during a run. And as you can tell, it's pretty bright out. So let's give it a try. So here we got the sunglasses. That's what it looks like. My head. And it feels pretty secure. So moving my head around a lot doesn't seem to slip off at all. And that's what it's meant to do. It's meant to stay on your head while you're running because when you're running, you're bumping up and down a lot. So, so far so good. So it looks pretty cool too. I'm seeing myself in the camera. It's very reflective. From my perspective, the lenses are like wearing regular sunglasses. Everything's just a bit darker. But I know that there are some styles with different colored lenses that give things a different hue. But here it's pretty pretty normal, uh, a little bluish. It also feels pretty comfortable, pretty light. I'm excited to test this out on a run. So let's give it a try.
All right, so I just finished my first run with the Gooder sunglasses and I had a really positive experience with them. So I ran for about four miles and during that run there were some sprints and not once at all during the entire run did these glasses fall off. So as advertised, these are non-slip. They will stay on your head during your runs. And for me, they were pretty comfortable to wear and I could see clearly through them. So overall, very positive experience. I like them. The good. So I got my gooders on right over here. And I have to say, after giving these glasses a try during a run, I really enjoyed wearing them. They fit comfortably. They didn't bounce or slip at all during my four miles of running, even during some sprints. Although they're snug, they're lightweight and don't feel obtrusive. At one point during the run, I exaggerated shaking my head and the glasses still maintain their position on my face. If you're curious about some of the technical aspects of these glasses, the frame is made of copolyester plastic. It has mirrored polarized lenses that block 100% of harmful UVA and UVB rays. They're designed with a special grip coating that prevents it from slipping even when you're sweating. Although the fit is snug, it's lightweight and comfortable. I really like that these look like Ray-Ban Wayfarers and the fact that there are many stylish options available at a relatively low cost. The bad. I didn't experience this problem, but if your head is larger, these glasses may not fit perfectly. And that's indicated by the fact that Gooder has a special lineup of glasses for people with what they call huge heads, called BFGs. Another potential issue some might have with these sunglasses is that there is a bit of space on the sides where sunlight can slip through. So it's not wraparound protection like other running sunglasses offer. Overall recommendation. If you're looking for a good pair of running sunglasses that stay in your face, are affordable and look cool, Gooder has you covered. They really do feel like premium sunglasses at a non-premium cost. So if you want to give them a try, they're a good investment for $25. Just make sure you choose a size appropriate for your head, and hopefully you don't mind some sunlight slipping through. So that's my review of Gooder's running sunglasses. Are you going to buy a pair? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to like and subscribe for more fitness content like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.